send the flash. Get it started. Get it started. It's fine. And it's fine. What's your ideal romantic vacation? Well, probably my idea of a perfect romantic vacation would be something I don't have to plan for. Just give me the dates I need to be there, and you plan the tickets, the trip, all the festivities, and I'll just be there. But don't make it cheap. Hey, Bonnie, do you prefer flowers or chocolate? Listen, Charlie, you know us dancers. You know we have to be in two pieces. Even though y'all get a break for the All-Star Game, doesn't mean we do. So what girls really want are flowers, but not cheap flowers, not daisies or dandelions. We want roses, the real thing. Actually, pink roses. Those are my favorite. Bonnie, I have a girlfriend, but what do you want for Valentine's Day? Wow, John, NHL Rookie of the Month. Thanks for looking out for me. I think what I want for this Valentine's Day is kind of what everyone's thinking at this moment. Christian Gray. Hey, Bonnie, see if you can help me with this one. Um, there's a guy, and well, a lot of people pay a lot of attention to him. They think he's pretty special, and I kind of want to get to know him, but what's the best way for me to get Chandler Parsons' attention? Hey, Skin. That was a great question. We all know the only way to get Chandler Parsons' attention is to either call him out of shape or fat. <laughs> hey, Bonnie. I've been with my wife for three years. Married to her for three years. Been with her for ten. I need something original for Valentine's Day. I'm out of ideas. Wow, Matt Carpenter, National League All-Star, 10 years, I think you got this covered. But if you gotta get something, probably jewelry. You got the contract. Hey Bonnie, Betsy Price. You know, Mac asked me to talk about Valentine's Day. I've been married 43 years and I'm just curious at your age, what advice are you going to give an old lady about keeping this love alive in a 43 year old marriage? Wow, Betsy Price asking me for advice after 43 years of marriage, the mayor of Fort Worth, sounds like you're doing a pretty good job. But from our point of view, maybe the only thing I can give you is go see Fifty Shades of Grey. It might give you some Hi Bonnie, thanks for taking my question, but I don't need your advice today. What I need for you is for you to get this to your friend Catherine. Oh uh, Catherine, I'm sorry I did you wrong, and I'm so sorry for that. I'll never do it again. There you are, looking just the same as you did last time I touched you. But would you do me the honor and make me the happiest man in the world and marry me? I don't have enough money right now for a ring, but I do have a bottle of wine, and some hagen dazs things all girls love. So what do you say? Hi, Mac. Bonnie passed me along your message, and I am just so flattered. I have been waiting for this moment ever since I was a little girl, and it doesn't matter how much money you make, ice cream is the way to my heart, so yes, yes, I will. Thank you for all your great questions. I hope I could help solve some of your Valentine's Day crisis. This is Bonnie Oleg from the Dallas Mavericks, and I'm wishing all of y'all a happy Valentine's Day. It's a 
Your Valentine's Day crisis. You recording? No, uh-uh. We all know the best way to get Chandler Parsons attention. That's what I was supposed to say after that. <laughs> <laughs> All-Star, right? National League? That's what it is. Well, my idea of a perfect vacation... You want to try that again in English? Over. Yes. Whew. That contract alone would be just fine with me. Thanks for all your great... <laughs> what? Hold on, I burped. Well, Lou, thanks for that question. That sounded like crap. I know. What? Probably the only thing I can give her from a young person's point. Well, that sounds bad. From a young person's point of view, she's old. She's not old. Oh. <laughs> I hope I help. Then why did you look away? Oh my gosh! I'm just overthinking it now. I'm Bonnie Oleg from the Dallas Mavericks. That's bad. I burped.